Hello everyone, today I'm going to go over targeting on a controller in Final Fantasy XIV. Let's get started. Confirm targeting is pressing your confirm button when you have nothing else targeted. This will go to your nearest visible target, prioritizing enemies over friendlies. By default, the confirm button is the X on the PlayStation controller. Although I did say nearest, the algorithm itself isn't exactly based on distance, but it's a fair rough estimate. This is very useful for NPCs in town, but can also be used for quickly targeting a nearby enemy. Targeting party members in the party list. You can use the D-pad up and down to cycle through the party list. Do note I said cycle, because it is a full rotation. For example, to reach the 8th member of the party, sure, I could press down 7 times, but that would be very inefficient. Instead, I can press up once. This may take a little getting used to at first, but mastering cycle is important if you're aiming for optimal performance. Targeting somebody in another party in Alliance. You can use your targeting button, which by default is L1, and the D-pads left and right to cycle through Alliance members. This list is quite a bit longer, so definitely use the cycling feature whenever possible. Also, keep in mind that you can use your cancel button to remove your target entirely to start over from the beginning if that is faster if you somehow have to target multiple people who are in different parties. For enemies, you can cycle through the enmity list by using the targeting button L1 by default, and up and down on the D-pad. This is still another cycle, so make use of it. You can also target enemies via what people call tab targeting. The game picks an enemy based on location. Once a crossbar is activated, use your bunkers to switch targets. There are two algorithms for this, and you can choose which one you want in character config Control Settings, Target, Target Type. Ignore Def means it is based on left or right of your current target or you. Cone means it is based on distance. Personally, I prefer Cone because I would rather target things that are near, and there is another way to do left and right that I will cover later. Tab or Bumper targeting is always based on visible enemies. Therefore, you can limit what is chosen by controlling and zooming in and out of your camera. You might be thinking, hey Squint, you did not cover using the D-pad left and right by itself. Well, that one is a bit more complicated. The D-pad left and right is used for filter targeting. If you look above your HP bar, you will see some text. Right now, on mine, it says all. That means all targets. This is my default one when I am out of combat and it will target anything including that NPC. If I go into combat or I unsheathe my weapon, I will have my other default target of enemies, which is any enemies that are visible. If you're wondering how to sheathe or unsheathe your weapon, press your bumpers together. You can change the behavior of your sheath and unsheath filtering by going to Character Config, Control Settings, and Filters. Make sure Enable Target Cycling is on, and you will see the available targeting behaviors for when your weapon is sheathed or drawn. You can pick from presets or make your own. However, there's more. You can have up to four additional filters. If you scroll down to Filter Customization, you can enable them. By default, to activate a custom filter, you use L1 and an action button. Once again, there are a variety of presets, but you can also make custom ones. I use one for enemies that are aggroed, if I essentially want to pick from the enmity list by going left and right of what I see. I don't use it very often, but it's nice to have it. I also have a custom one to target people that are out of my party and pets and minions. This is mostly to rest people out of my party in instances like Eureka or if I want to interact with someone's minion. 
Lastly, I have one that has all friendlies. This can be useful to target alliance members in a different way, if I can see someone right next to me, but also to target friendly NPCs in fights where those exist, like the Shinryu dragons you need to heal to full. Filter targeting, like all the other types of targeting, is based on visibility, so adjust your camera if needed. Now that I've covered all of the ways you can select a target, well, other than macros of course, let's talk about permanent and temporary targets. As you can see, I have my chocobo out in my party, and I have him selected as my target. I will now use my D-pad to select myself, but I will not press confirm. So my chocobo has the permanent target which is why he has the targeting arrow, the target reticle, and his name on the list has a full border. Whereas, I am currently a temporary target. I do not have an arrow, I have a targeting reticle that does not show my front or rear, and my targeting on the list does not have border. Being a temporary target means that I am the target for the next action press, and the system will automatically go back to my permanent target. So, if I use Cure, it will cast Cure on me, and automatically go back to my chocobo without doing anything. Every type of targeting that uses the D-pad creates a temporary target, also known as a soft target. If you did not already have a permanent target, it will become one. Otherwise, if you want to create a new permanent target, you can press the Confirm button. Do note that Confirm Targeting and Tab Targeting are always permanent targets. So are targeting macros. So if I use Filter Targeting to pick my enemies, you can see they show up as temporary targets. However, if I use Tab Targeting, their reticle is one of a permanent target. The last thing to point out is that Soft Targeting will also show you aggro lines for open world monsters. These lines tell you that if you attack that enemy, the other ones will become aggroed as well. Permanent, also known as hard targeting, does not show these. Temporary targeting is super helpful for sending out single target buffs or heals to party members without needing to reselect the boss to resume attacking. While this is a useful technique for any job, it is especially useful for an astrologian. I would highly recommend learning to master this, as it will make weaving your cards in between attacks a lot smoother. The last topic of this video is ground targeting. First, let's head over to Character Config, Control Settings, Target, and the section Ground targeting settings. The first option is called locked to cursor. This means your ground targeting will also be where your cursor is, regardless of whether you have a mouse hooked up or you are using a virtual mouse. This does mean you need to constantly have your cursor on your screen, and you can also use camera control to move it. If you are using a mouse in addition to your controller for things like handling your retainers, this will often lead to it being in the wrong place. The next option is Unlocked. This is using a separate dot cursor that is only used for ground targeting. That dot can be moved around as well. It will actually tell you on the screen how to do so, but the default version is R1 and the movement analog stick. It will remember that dot location for next time. Regardless of whether you are using the mouse cursor or the dot cursor, moving your ground AOE directly will typically be slower than using camera control. Not only that, but if you are moving either cursor around, you are less likely to have it in a good place all the time. Personally, I am using Unlocked, but I always keep it in the same place, right in front of me. And I use camera control. This means I can predictably know that my ground targeting is based on what I see in my camera and I have the choice 
of whether to use camera control or direct placing. It's also somewhat common to use targeting macros, such as in this Earthly Star macro. This has the benefit of being very fast but lacks action queuing. And if you're using the me modifier, like I am, it also means you lose the ability to pick a different spot at all, so it's up to you what fits you best. Well, that's it for this video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Bye bye!